video, I'm gonna walk you through the type of trip that you can do in Mexico. So first of all, you're gonna fly, uh, you're gonna fly from Europe. The easiest way is Amsterdam Cancun or Brussels Cancun. Once you're in Cancun, so pretty much you, yeah, you have to, to decide uh, what you wanna do, like, uh, you're going to go direct to Merida or you're going to travel around. I would say to travel around first and foremost. Uh, you can see Cancun here. There's a couple of things uh, that you can definitely do. Like, for example, you have the Excarate Park. You have the Cenotes and stuff like this. Um, what is kind of cool uh, in case is, uh, you know, downtown Cancun. There's a lot of, like, clubs and, and beach clubs and and this type of thing. So uh, I don't know, the city, uh, Hard Rock Cafe. I mean, you can have such a nice party moment right there. Uh, but, you know, you can always skip it. Um, so yeah, you have the Hotel Zone, that's how it's called. That's really cool. Uh, but then you have uh, Playa del Carmen. So this is, this is, this is the, a must. So it's more beautiful and things like this. Uh, you can stay for somewhat cheap. Uh, there's a very beautiful uh, beaches around. And most importantly, you have uh, El Parque Escaret. So this Escaret Park is like, um, it's, like a, it's a theme park, right? So, well, basically this, like, um, this is like Mexican the Disneyland or something. Um, in a way, so if you like like theme parks, so this is a way to go. Oh, this is really beautiful. The the, the spectacles are just absolutely stunning. I, it's it's just really crazy. There's some other parts, but uh, this one is is just uh, it's kind of a must if you are around this region uh, because um, you know beyond uh, the park itself, uh, it's kind of a, a a summary of of the whole Mexican culture and stuff. And if you are just stuck in this region, I think it's, it's kind of worth it. Then you have uh, all these little beaches and this island that are kind of cool, but you can skip it. The other one that is a must is Tulum. I mean, Tulum, it's, it's so super nice because it has uh, a beautiful beach, but perhaps it's the only place that have an archaeological zone. Like you have, uh, you know, Mayan pyramids and stuff. Uh, but also you have the beach and then there's kind of a pyramid in the beach and it's kind of a really stunning uh, kind of thingy. So, in fact, if if you, you know, fly to Cancun and you're going to stay somewhere around, I would say that Tulum is the best combination between a pretty, not crowded uh, from tourists and kind of a, a cheap in a way. And then you're going to have all the nice things uh, with Mexican food and there is a, a nice international uh, community uh, in Tulum and stuff like this. So I would say, you know, stay in Tulum and travel around because from here can, to, can, from Cancun to Playa Carmen is one hour driving. So I would just simply suggest to, uh, to rent a car, always rent a car because the taxes there are really expensive and there's Uber, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of bullshit. And there's kind of a, a little... Um, yeah, mafia with the taxis is really expensive. Uh, so always rent a car and then you stay somewhere around here. And then, uh, well, you can go all the way uh, to to here, to the uh, La Laguna de Bacalar. Uh, this is very nice. This is very beautiful. It's, uh, uh, there's a little cenote. Look, look at this. This is, this is just amazing. Uh, the view and the things to do here in Bacalar is just just really stunning, um, you know. Um, so whether if it's a must or not really depends on what you're going to do further because there's some similar places like Bacalar in another part of Mexico that I'm going to just walk you through. But if you don't go all the way here because from, from Playa del Carmen, let's say you're going to go to uh, Bacalar, uh, it's already, you know, I mean, yeah, it can be a, a one day trip, you know, it's, it's, yeah, three hours, uh, three hours back is really like going from Maastricht to Kroninger or something like this. 
Um, so yeah, so uh, so you have to think about it. Uh, but what is also interesting uh, is this place. This is this is a nat- kind of a reserved national park, a protected national park, uh, and you have this place like Punta Allen in Samanac, um, where you have these kind of beautiful, uh, almost virgin uh, beach, you know, um, these type of things with some uh, really some locals, uh, and you have kind of a even a some hippie community from. North Americans or something like this. So it has a very nice uh, uh, vibes and peaceful vibes. Uh, look at this, look at all this. So uh, yeah, t- turtles, uh, dolphins, Jesus Christ. So, I mean, this Punta Allen is not crowded for t- of tourists because first of all, it's a protected area, right? Uh, so it's kind of worth it to, to take a look if you don't want to go all the way down. It's just uh, right in front of Tulum. Um, and and the region. So when uh, when you are done with this, so at the end of the day, so this is the the Caribbean coast, right? So you're gonna have the Caribbean experience. Uh, in Merida, obviously, you would have the wedding, and in Merida, it's, it's more like a cultural type of center, as you can see, and there's a lot of beautiful stuff. Uh, but that's for later. When you have the car, uh, I mean, you can always have. You know, when you go to from Cancun to Merida, it's somewhere around. It's, it's like a drive of a uh, three hours drive or something. Uh, yeah, like three, three and a half. Obviously, you're gonna pass through Valladolid. Valladolid's kind of the the center of of the attractions around, and the attractions around are very simple. Uh, Chichen Itza, it's uh, one of the seven wonders, uh, full of tourists. Yes, but if you are there, you kind of have to go right. Um, so it's kind of cool. Uh, and then you have obviously the cenotes. That's something that is the only place in the world that you can, that you will find is, is here in Yucatan. Like, like literally, you know, the, the under, underground lakes kind of thing, uh, with the stalactites and stalagmites, that type of thing. So in this reserve, all this thing in green, you, yeah, there's a lot of cenotes going on. Um, so yeah, so keep that in mind. So this is the region. And from Merida or from Cancun, depending on where you are, uh, you can go further in Mexico and you have, I would say, kind of the following options. You go to the Pacific South, it's Oaxaca or Chiapas. It's a kind of a jungle uh, Pacific experience. Or you go to Jalisco, that's kind of the, the fun Mexico, all this part, right? Or you go to the center, that's Mexico City and surroundings. surroundings. Uh, I would say that all this center, uh, well, it's cool and perhaps it's worth its own trip. You know, it's very cultural, it's very beautiful. Um, but in a way, also kind of reminds you of, I mean, if you go to Spain, you will see very similar stuff, right? Uh, the north is like, well, if you go, if you would go to Texas, so it's like, it really seems like the U.S. Uh, but then these two parts like uh, Guadalajara, Jalisco, all this, this region is really beautiful and also the south. So if you are from Merida, to come from Merida, you would take a flight direct from Merida to Tuxla Gutierrez or to Oaxaca, right? That's how it goes because this trip in, uh, in car, it's, it's just it's just annoying it's and this part is even uh dangerous uh so and this whole part is really ugly so so this is a flight thing plus here you are in the middle of the jungle so that's the that's the thing once you're in chiapas chiapas is one of the most beautiful states in in the whole mexico you will fly to the to the capital of the state to, to Gutierrez. there's not much things to do there but what you have is a pivot city to go around. So first of all, uh, well, you want to go to San Cristobal de las Casas. This is a very, very beautiful town, one of the most beautiful towns you, you will find around. So you have a lot of nature, a lot of nice walks and stuff, especially the El Parque Nacional Le Cañón y Sumidero. This is one of the most stunning places in, in the whole Mexico. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Uh, the lake here is also super beautiful. 
Uh, if you want to go here in Tapachula uh, for hikes and walks, well, this is also a couple of hours drive. Um, but then what you always can do is obviously, you know, uh, just go from Tuxtla Gutierrez all the way to Oaxaca. Uh, yes, uh, Oaxaca. There we go. Uh, that's, uh, you know, way more than you, would have, that you would have expected, right? So, but this is really worth it. You can like uh, stop like in Salina Cruz. You know, you can, this is a, this can be a day trip, uh, a road trip kind of thingy. Uh, here's a lot of beautiful uh, scenery. Uh, you will see a very amazing um, uh, cuisine and stuff like this. So this, this is an option or, or maybe Huchitan, I don't know. Um, now, once in, once in Salina Cruz, in Salina Cruz, you can decide whether if you want like the Pacific, uh, kind of trip or more like the mountains uh, kind of cultural stuff because here it's like it's, it's mountains, it's more cultural, it's culinary and here in Oaxaca you have one of the best, uh, some of the best chefs in the world are based in Oaxaca uh, so that's really amazing you have uh, here for example Cerro de Yatin uh, these are like long hikes and things like this uh, these are Cerro um, but if you go for the, the through the Pacific coast, you have these uh, beaches that are uh, very famous nowadays. Like for example, La Playa Masunte, where this one is 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 uh, recently kind of a, a holy grail place for surfers and stuff. Um, so for a surfing community, um, uh, and then also you have here uh, Puerto Escondido. You have Playa Masunte, you have uh, Playa Cipotle. Um, uh, where do you have Puerto Escondido? Here. Where Playa Masunte. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, Puerto Escondido. Here you go. Yeah, that's um, no other one from Oaxaca. Yeah. That's just right uh, in front. Uh, so this is a very nice, uh, you know, Pacific Coast kind of trip, and and this is uh, also very very beautiful. So yeah, uh, but as you can see, here goes uh, this Puerto Escondido. That it 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 reminds me kind of it reminds me of of Curacao. Now that I look at it uh, with the pictures, uh, that's really nice. So so yeah, that's um that's about it. And as you can see, you're here. Uh, surrounded by mountains when you're here in the south so really like going anywhere else uh well that's uh, that's difficult you know some people will go they will go south you know you have uh you would go to antigua in guatemala uh that that's very amazing and then you have uh the lake here in in, in uh, guatemala it's also very beautiful but, well that's something else he, but the thing is that um, obviously it depends what you want to do. Here is very kind of a nature and, and coast and type of things. And also the type of Mexico that you, you would encounter is more like, the, you know, indigenous uh, Mexico. You know, um, my, my Spanish friend, you know, this is the Mexico that you're going to encounter. My Spanish uh, friend, Carlos, he was saying that remind him a lot of uh, like, like Peru. Right, so this is this is the Mexico that you're gonna encounter, um, in this region. Uh, if you fly, like for example, to to this region, if you fly to Guadalajara, um, and then from Guadalajara you do this this one of the big cities in in, in Mexico. Uh, this is, is cultural, it's cosmopolitan. Uh, you know, it's like a, a little, I don't know, like a little copy of Sevilla or something like that. Um, you have also nice things like uh, this lake and stuff, but especially you have uh, places like, uh, I don't know, the tequila town where, where tequila, the actual the tequila drink comes from. And going to the Pacific coast, you have Puerto Vallarta, another beautiful place. Hey, this is like the Playa del Carmen, but from the Pacific <laughs> coast. And then you have Sayulita, 
Sayulita is is kind of the Tulum, but from the Pacific coast, right? Or Puerto Escondido. So so that's um that's another type of of you know way of looking at things. So you have this coast, this coast, and this coast. Obviously, you you want to decide which one. And the type of Mexico that you're gonna encounter here is more like you know the classical Mexico that you know, like the 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 mariachi Mexico. You know, um, yeah. Uh, this this is this is the Mexico. You know, uh, you gonna encounter you know with the mariachi tequila. Ay, 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 you know, the music and, and the fiesta and, 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 the, and the pozole and the tacos. Uh, that's the type of Mexico that you're going to encounter in this region. Uh, 10 times out of 10, everyone loved it. Um, so, yeah, uh, which places you do not go? Uh, you know, I, I already, you know, pointed you, out, po pointed you out this region and this region because here in the middle, these two states, Michoacan and Guerrero, are a no go. <laughs> you know, this is these are kind of the 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 hair corners of the of this state, and this other state is actually where my uh, my mom's hometown, uh, somewhere here. Um, you know, you have, for example, Acapulco. Acapulco is one of the most um, it's it's in the top ten uh, most dangerous places of the world. It's crazy. Then you have Merida. That is one of the is the safest city in whole Latin America, same country. So that's it. So these these two places you don't go, and uh, all these north, you know, all these states in the north, it's like a no go because yeah, there's nothing to do, uh, long distances, and then you can find an arco in the way, and then you have Ciudad Juarez, that's not very nice city. So yeah, that's kind of um, how it goes. Uh, this region, Los Cabos. Also cool, uh, but expensive. It's like for the, the rich Californians, they have their houses there. So that's about it. I hope it's super helpful and yeah, hope to see you soon.